Okay, let's start with what? Yeah. Okay, what other spaces that we're going to be looking at? Kitchen and bar, kitchen. So you've got your kitchen area now your kitchen is going to be a block right by design it because we're not that's a very specialized that's a very specialized design mm -hmm. kitchen what else um a point of sale mm -hmm. seat cooking seating area yep did speak to Josh, um, but he wasn't 100% sure, but he said to not worry about the bathroom no. because they're already there. Right. No, this um, is actually for the, um, this is for the cleaners. So the, originally this, um, when this building was designed, all of these external areas are for cleaners. So they are there for maintenance. Oh, okay. But having having said that, though, actually these are um, accessible toilets, so hmm. we designed them so they're big enough. Um, are we able to use the maybe a staff and then have our own toilets for? Customers? I would recommend that that's the yeah. case. Okay. But having said that, though, you're going to design toilets anyway. So, okay. um, if you have a look at, actually, I'll. Can you remind me to show the Australian standards regarding toilets? It's actually, I think it's on the NCC, the number of toilets. Um, okay, anything else? Um, I'll put gallery, just because of what he does. It was like, kind of like the display. It's like a beautiful display. Um, I had like a, a staff break room. Like, I mean, I know that technically in a cafe, I guess they could use the cafe space, but we don't really want to be taking space from the painting customers if you can help it. All right. Okay. Um, and then who? Have you guys decided, and I don't know if this is a group decision, how many patrons you guys can fit in here? Or did it say on the... Um, on the introduction, introductory. I don't think it did. Okay. From what I saw. So, what do you guys want to do in terms of um, number of patrons? I'm not sure, but the one that I briefly designed for Josh's class, um, I could fit about 50 people, but then at the same time, I've not included some of these. Let's aim for 50 then. That's right. Yeah. Yes. So you just have to block out the space. You have to include it. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't design inside it. Yeah. Fifty patrons, and we're talking about seating, right? Yeah. We're not talking about standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, and then you've got you your employees. Seating, so just did I did I include your outdoor yeah. as well? It's a big space, so you guys should be fine. I reckon I you can fit more. Um, are we allowed to do outdoor seating? Because I think this is a conversation where it wasn't um, allowed. I don't know, Virg, do you remember if we had that conversation? Out, it depends on the clearances. Uh, there's only one way you can do it. Uh, you can do a standing outside, but not a seating one there. I think like, you can fit. I think it's um, not on the side bits, but on the front one, there should be enough space. Or what you could do is if you can actually section that one off to be it's like not you can section that one off but make it like an open area for that particular uh, room you could but however you can't be walk around yeah. so that is the, what about um how amelia is saying the front 
Do you mean this one? Is that wide enough to see? Or no, it's not. At no. the moment, I can see it's only 1.6. Yeah. That's tiny. I think that was larger on Revit. Yeah, on, on Revit. How, How big, big is Revit? it on Revit? Let me have a look for you. You were able to pick. Yeah, because on the side, it's pretty narrow, but on the side, it's like mm. wider. Mm. Oh, so you're saying the front is bigger? Yeah. 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 <laughs> wider. <laughs> Yeah, is the front, what Slide. is the front? Uh, about the top of the front? She's just checking. Yeah. What's the bit It's um, like 1.95. So two meters. Yeah, pretty much. Which one? The front? Um, the, 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 top. the top. The top, right. I would suggest not sitting but standing up. Standing. You, you, I don't think you you could. The only thing you Did could you is you. Sort of no, thing? if the only thing you could is you need to section it off to make it like a private area, mm -hmm. and then that become your private balcony, and that could able to use because you don't walk through others. But if you want to be keeping maintaining the floor walk, you can't do that. Yeah. Yep. How about the balcony bit? This balcony. The one at the back. Down there. No. In the middle, that, that one there. I don't think it's actually uh, in the that that one is actually smoking for the people. Okay, so, yeah, no. yeah, so that is what it is. So yeah, to be so honest, it's not or I was Maybe. just putting like. Yeah. Well, I guess you could yeah. have like a little it is not that big, and people normally stand up for that and get some quick air and go back in. That's okay. what it is. Well, from my experience in here, when they do it, if you really want to, you will need to look at the alignment and section this one off to how many sections, and then that become your private balcony, then you can able to, but I don't think you'll be able to fit two people sitting out there, like a sitting. Standing up it is, it's okay. On the outer. Oh, yeah, I was thinking of doing like plants anyway, but if there was like some sort of seating arrangement that, yeah, I just didn't think. Because from our previous conversation, but you know, oh, maybe try seating. I was going to say because I've sort of done that sort of style oh, seating, and there's like one point one, one point two in between there and there. Is that not appropriate commercially? It's your, it's a bit too many tables and chairs because you need to think about um the customers actually move and see and also you need to think about wait, waiting staff as well yeah. i'm gonna get you guys to have a look at this and see if that if you minimize the the amount of tables and chairs okay the possibility around four, but we, before we get before we get there and, and the surfing station need to be outside too, like let's have around. let's have a look at this first so um use this as your guide mm -hmm. okay now this this does keep changing i don't know what edition this is up to fifth edition i don't know if there's a later um, edition but don't forget this is a guide only okay this is um, probably um, best practice but you need to absolutely make sure that you've cross reference with the ncc as well as the australian standards because it's about accessibility at the end of the day all right, um, this gives you a guide in terms of what's comfortable or what's nice to be walking around. Um, it gives you all of the um, table sizes as well. Now, you've got access to this in the um, in my online commercial. in the library. No, in my commercial, I'll put it up there. Okay. This book, the whole book. Look back on my resource. Okay, just have a look at that. And the restaurants and food facilities is chapter 34. Yeah, can you have that? Chapter 34. Um, um Tasha, can you just, just that there. Okay, can you see it? Just get the whole thing. That's construction. I don't know if we have fifty people if there's no outside. Yeah, like, so I reckon it's like one more. Down there. <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. Yeah, it's up to you guys. I, um it's it's a big space, it's two hundred and twenty square meters. I feel like it there? might yeah. be yeah. one Sorry, let's have one meeting at a time, especially if we're recording. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, so, with the 50 patrons, let's say let's aim for that. But um, if we're going to be under, I just kind of feel like 220 square meters is quite big and not to fit 50 patrons. I feel like maybe we can squeeze somewhere. Um, okay, now the other research that I need you guys to do is that if you are going to have 50 patrons, how big does that kitchen need to be? That was one of the things I was wondering. How okay. I find that information out. So, um, now decide how you're going to come into this space. So let's say that let's do maybe let's play with two different entrances in this particular option let's say that i'm coming in from here right that's my first option now um let's block off the blind part of the um the cafe first so people the things that the places that people won't actually see so maybe let's start with um Let's start with the toilets. Okay, let's say that the toilets are probably around here. Let's say that... Maybe it's an open kitchen or something like that. I feel like you could have a kitchen maybe somewhere here in the middle maybe and then um you've got seating all around already anyway you've got this waiting area at the front when you're waiting to be seated and then maybe the gallery is just around anyway now you don't have a lot of wall space no so the um the food display the pos all of that is um, around the kitchen anyway maybe it's actually around the um, the waiting area I'm gonna leave off break room only because I feel like maybe that should be last on our list so we've got food display we've got it's the storage that we need um, storage might end up being here next to the kitchen so I've got points of sale and then I've got, did I say, food display. And then seating everywhere. Have I ticked everything off? So, seating, yes. Okay. All right. And so, the, the question I had was the bar area. So, should we be including that or not for the same potential? Well, that could fall into your um, your seating area. Will you have like bar seating, and will that bar seating be yes. as in drink service yes. bar? Yeah, as in alcoholics, uh, um, alcoholic um, beverages. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think the only walls that I'm going to have to create, because I've decided to have an open kitchen, is probably my, um, my toilet and my storage. No, because that's outside your scope. Okay, sure. But we can still use it. Like as you can, just for stuff. your toilets. But yeah. there's no point designing it because yeah, 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 it's yeah. already designed. So, yeah, just like if our staff want to come up there, they can I think it's it. just the idea that if your staff want to use the toilet, then your staff can use the toilet. Sure. So maybe make an entry for that yes. space? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so identify how you're going to get in there. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to, again, just double check with the um, standards, but I think I might use this actually. So, also one thing is at the bottom of that balcony area, 
Do we want to keep that part? Yeah, you do. It's up to you, but I would. Because then you're, you're wasting a space yeah. that's... Okay, so I'm just going to follow the columns. Because then that gives me a little bit of structure. All right, so um, I've now decided that this here is my toilet and my storage. So that's five meters. Um, So let's say that this here is my toilet and then this here is my storage and then that middle part is my kitchen and then maybe I've got maybe what I could do is I'll split my seating area to outdoor indoor so I've got my outdoor space out there you could have some seating here in that kind of um, in, in this little courtyard space and maybe this is the part where you will ser serve alcohol. I don't know. It's, it's up to you how you guys want to do that. Now, along the front, we'll need to double check the NCC to see if we can actually fit anything out there. At the moment, it feels really tight. I did give you the wrong sorry, measurement. It's 2.1. 2.1, yeah. right. Um, so we'll just have to check the NCC. Now, um, yeah, we'll just have to check the NCC and, and have a look at oh. how much of it we're going to fit. So that's pretty much it. So what I've decided in this in this scheme for me is that um, my only solid walls are for the storage and the toilet. Everywhere else is literally just planning around and um, and putting in the secondary things, which would be your dining tables, your um, your counter for your point of sales, food kind of display, all of that stuff. Okay, and probably benches for your kitchen. But having said that, though, don't desi design the everything else to do with the kitchen but at least to have some sort of um especially if it's an open kitchen think about whether or not it's going to be enough and this um is going to be really useful for that because it will give you dimensions of um commercial kitchens even if it's just indicative um in addition i just want you guys to be aware with uh, the toilets Looking at the size with my experience, that toilet will be the disabled toilet and make that one as the disabled toilet as the main concern. Um, you won't able to put a female and male and a disabled in that space in here. So make sure that you have at least one disabled toilet access. That's the must into that space. It's a must. Okay. And also consider how the wheelchair going through to the toilet space as well. That is the must for, uh, for compliances. Yeah, check that one up. That's okay. it. Okay, all right. So have a go at doing that. When um, Maybe we can have a bit of a break now. Let's have, guys.